Okay, so today I'm going to talk about my relationship with guys. And if anybody's watching this, hi! Um, sorry, I had a text message there. So, I don't have girlfriends. Um, I tend to get, I, I do get upset with females a lot, you know, that they, they talk about you behind your back. And I'm not going to say that I'm not guilty of that with other females. It's, it's something females do. Um, but I've always just been like one of the guys, always. When I was a kid, I was the dirtiest little girl you ever saw. I wanted to ride a bike. I wanted to climb trees. I wanted to catch frogs and snakes and go fishing and catch turtles like my brother did. I guess I wanted to be like my brother. Um, and, and I would do all this wearing a dress sometimes. I didn't care what I wore. Um, or I'd just be out there in a pair of drawers and just running around like a wild Indian. Uh, because I was free, you know? Um, and, and I had female friends when I was a kid, but I also had boyfriends too. Um, it, it was like once my female friends started hitting puberty, they didn't want to be friends with me anymore. So I was like, oh, okay, you know, no big deal. I had lots of guy friends. Um, cause the guys knew I wasn't going to get offended. I mean, like, like they could not offend me because one of the, one of the things that I love about guy dynamics is, you know, you're sitting around with a couple of your friends, you know, and you're like, hey, bitch, get me a beer. <laughs> you know, you can say shit like that. You know, guys, guys are like, yeah, yeah, I'll get you a beer. You know, you dorky looking motherfucker. You know, I mean, you say all kinds of shit. And it's so cool because you can, you can joke like that and nobody is getting offended. Um, and you know where you stand, like. Anytime I would meet up with new friends, you know, like a lot of times through boyfriends, I'd end up having his friends as my friends. And that would continue <laughs> after the relationship was over. Um, you know, guys are pretty good about letting you know that, I mean, like, take for instance, my friend Mikey, his house. I'd go over there. I knew Mikey wanted me. <laughs> I did. He wasn't going to send me away. <laughs> you know, he wasn't going to say, get out of here. Because, no, he wanted to get with me. But I was there to hang out, you know. And and, um, and that's the thing with guys is, like, you know what they want. And you know if they don't want you, you know. And if they don't want you and they don't like you, they'll make it pretty clear that you're not welcome, you know. But when you go to these, when I would go to these guys' houses... And they would start rolling a joint after I got there, you know, and bringing out stuff after I got there. It's like, okay, you know, because see, when, when you don't like somebody, you make sure you don't bring that stuff out. You act like you're going to go somewhere, you know, or whatever. And see, in a room full of females, the females will all act like they're cool with you being there. You know, they'll all be nice and pleasant and, and stuff. And the second that you walk out the door or you go to the bathroom or whatever, them girls are like, oh my God, can you believe, you know, and, and guys just don't do that. You go to the bathroom, you might have to worry about them looking at your ass. If you're a female, if you're a male, you don't have to worry about shit. <laughs> but, you know, I've always liked hanging out with them better because everything is just so upfront. I mean, when you're dating guys, that's a whole different deal. But when you're just wanting to be friends, yeah, they're going to try. But, you know, you still get more honesty out of, out of them. And, and I mean, I try with girls. I really do. You know, there, there are lots of people that like, like my husband will have these friends and stuff and they'll have like wives or girlfriends or or I'll meet somebody and then he'll get a girlfriend. And, you know, so I'm like, well, I need to be, 
I need to be nice to her, you know, and sometimes those people are like really cool and I really want to hang out with them because I think that they're really cool, but they just don't get me and I end up being, being better friends with their, with their boyfriends or their husbands than them. And I mean, it's the same way with like my acquaintances even that are female. If I hang out with them, if I, if I get the opportunity, the guys will talk to me and the women will completely fucking ignore me. So of course I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to talk to the guys and I don't have to worry about what I say. I don't have to worry about, you know, there isn't even a thing like male sensibilities you know, like you got to worry about a female offending a woman's feminine sensibilities. No. And they don't have to worry about that with me. They can say whatever they want. I'm cool with it. You know. But the thing is, is that I know that when I walk out the door, they're not talking shit about me. They'll talk shit to my face. And I like that. I say shit. I'm not supposed to say it. I say what pops into my head. Girls don't like that. Guys don't particularly care if you say what's off the top of your head, you know. They don't get offended. I don't like being a girl. But I think if I was a guy, I'd be a gay guy. Because hell, even as catty as some gay guys are, they're still better than a lot of females. I mean, they, they do. Don't get me wrong. My gay friends are very catty and I will see them act just like females when it comes to somebody walking out of the room and, and having something to say about that person. My male gay friends are just as bad, <laughs> but they like me. <laughs> my, my, my male friends that are gay like me. So I get to feel like I'm hanging out with a female, even though I'm hanging out with a dude. And we can talk about anything. I mean, seriously, like me and a gay dude can talk about anything. It is so awesome. My gay friend, he was so cool. I'm not going to mention his name because he might actually watch this and he'll be, he'll be real upset that I told anybody this, but I'm going to do it anyway. We used to go to the mall and now, I would see somebody, and I'll tell you what, he would tell me my gaydar was spot on. It's just the problem was, is that I would like the guy. <laughs> I would say, ooh, he's cute, I like him, I wish I could talk to him, and he'd say, I'll go talk to him, because he's gay. I'm like, no, he's not. He's not gay. He's like, yeah, he's gay. No, he's not gay. I'll leave be gay. But my buddy would go up and say, hey, you see my friend over there? She likes you. She thinks you're cute. You know, do you like to hook up? And, and if they said no, he'd say, well, I think you're kind of cute too. So would you like to hook up? <laughs> but I mean, he was, he was almost always right about it. I mean, now there were some guys that normally, like, like the guys that I typically liked were not his type. And and they were most definitely not gay. But when I would go outside of my comfort zone, like when I would look at guys that were clean shaven, like I liked the long haired country boys. Um, but when I would go for the ones that were kind of, I don't know, I guess to say preppy looking, I'd always pick gay guys. It's like, it was like I had gaydar and didn't know I had gaydar. <laughs> um, but you know, he, he's, he's still one of, my best friends. He's so freaking awesome. He's in a committed relationship and, and everything's going rosy for him for the past 10 years. It's great. And he's still, he's still, you know, like he'll, he'll send me a picture of something. He'll go, he'll go, I'll bet you think he's hot. Don't you? And I'll say, he's gay. Any, he? he's like hundred <laughs> percent, you know, but like I said, he and I screw around like that. You know, girls don't do that kind of thing. They don't send a picture to their friends and go, what do you think of him? He's gay. <laughs> you know, we don't, 
girls don't do that, you know, it's, and, and like, I don't know. I mean, I know that there's girls out there that are like me. I know that there has to be, I cannot be an anomaly. Um, I cannot be a hundred percent anomaly, but it just seems like every girl that I meet, you know, the ones that want to hang out with me, like I can think of a few that want to hang out with me, but like they are no fun. Absolutely no fun. I mean, they're kind of like when you read a romance novel and, and you read the male's part, you know, and he's talking about all these empty bubble headed girls that only think about embroidery and, and what color to make the new drapes. That's how some of these girls are that, that want to hang out with me. And I'm just like, no, I want to have a good conversation. I want to talk about that. I want to talk about cool stuff. I want to, I want to watch sports and, and I want to watch like dirt bikes and skateboarding and stuff. I don't want to talk about decorating, <laughs> you know, I mean, I'll talk about the kids and that's even fun with the guys, you know, cause the guys are pretty cool about it. <laughs> you know, you can say anything and it just does not offend their delicate sensibilities the delicate nature. I don't have a delicate nature. I really don't. I mean, I am when when Gwen Stefani um set down, settle down, you know, she's like there's a part where she says I'm a rough and tough. I'm a rough and tough. No, um, that's how I've always been, you know. I was I was like a little boy who wore dresses. And as an adult, I just would rather talk about boy stuff than girl stuff because boys are a lot more interesting you know they they get to work on cars and shit maybe it's because I always just wanted to hang out with my dad so much and I was kind of left out of the club so I was like you know what fuck you I'm gonna make my own club of boys and we'll talk about fixing cars and and going mudding and stuff you know i'll find my own tree climbing friends <laughs> screw you dad and billy <laughs> and i just made a lifestyle out of it and now it's like well you know stuck with that i do hang out with my daughters though those are some females that i do i do chill with and they're a little bit different they they will tell me that I said something wrong. They'll tell me straight to my face. And they they do the, the uh, classic, I don't want them around, so I'm going to act like I really have to get somewhere. Or I'm going to act like I've got a migraine, you know. And, and for a lot of times that works. That never worked with my mom, though. She didn't care. You were stuck with her company. So anyway, have a good night, and if you're watching this, give it a like. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, give it a dislike, you know, just let me know that you saw it and you had an opinion. Have a good night.